Hello, I'm Stephanie Quine with the Weekly Law Report. Here are our top stories for this week. Ratings agencies worldwide could be sued by investors who lost money during the GFC. The federal court ruled on Monday Standard & Poor's AAA rating of complex financial products was misleading. In a landmark decision, it slammed Standard & Poor's for failing in its duty of care to investors by assigning a AAA rating to risky synthetic derivatives. Piper Alderman's Amanda Banton, who represented the 12 New South Wales local councils that lost millions on failed investments, said the volatility level assigned was clearly inappropriate. The ratings method for such derivatives will be investigated and could prompt litigation against ratings agencies worldwide. Their global value is estimated to be around $5 billion. Perth barrister Lloyd Rainey may have been acquitted of murdering his wife, but he could still be struck off the roll. WA's legal services regulator is examining the trial judgment which states Rainey engaged in discreditable conduct. The Legal Practice Board of WA confirmed it is examining Justice Brian Martin's judgment in the Rainey murder trial, which delivered a not guilty verdict last week. Martin stated in his judgment that Rainey knowingly tapped his wife's phone and gave false evidence to a court while under oath. A principal in asbestos law at Morris Blackburn has won the New South Wales Justice Medal. Theodora Ayles was presented with the annual award for her work to achieve justice for people with asbestos-related diseases and their families. Theodora has acted for hundreds of asbestos victims in New South Wales and the ACT over the past 21 years. She also has degrees in social work and arts. The judges noted in awarding the prize, Theodora is known for her extraordinary compassion and commitment to supporting the families of clients as they deal with the psychological scars of sudden and dreadful diagnosis and death. The redevelopment of Barangaroo in Sydney is likely to attract law firms looking for alternatives to their CBD digs. A new report from real estate giant Jones Lang LaSalle says Barangaroo will become the city's answer to Canary Wharf in London. Although it hit headlines last week when James Packer revealed plans to build a $1 billion hotel and high roller casino, the site has yet to gain a law firm commitment. The report selected Gilbert and Tobin as the most likely contender to make the first move. Minter Ellison and King and Wood Mallisons are also tipped to look at Barangaroo as a potential new home for when their leases expire. Those are our top stories this week. You can find more details on those and more at our website. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook and follow discussions on LinkedIn. I'm Stephanie Quine. Thanks for watching.